اول كل شيء زوال اسرائيل Britain's invitation of the Crown Prince and de facto ruler of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, to the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II has caused a storm of protests from human rights activists. Not so long ago, there was a declassified CIA report that concluded that the Saudi Crown Prince authorized the murder and dismemberment of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. Although Erdogan has stopped talking about the incident, the British public have not forgiven the Saudi Crown Prince. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia and his government denied the murder of Jamal Khashoggi and in the West, although some leaders have met the Crown Prince personally after the incident, there's still a level of distrust. The Saudi Prince has not been able to visit the UK since. According to a spokesman from the Saudi embassy, the Saudi clown prince is actually in London this weekend, but it's unclear if he will attend the upcoming funeral of Queen Elizabeth II tomorrow. Hatice Genghis, the fiancé of the slain Saudi journalist, said the invitation was a big blot on the memory of Queen Elizabeth. She also called for Mohammed bin Salman to be arrested when he lands in London, although she doubts that will happen. It's so sad to see the land of Tawheed in a mess. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the kingdom. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is definitely facing a massive crisis. Could it be that we see a collapse of the Saudi regime similar to the Shah of Iran? Well, all is not well in the house of Saud. The Saudi king has dementia and has even been locked up in the palace somewhere in Neom for a few months only allowed to go out during certain times of the day and is allowed one cigar. The Saudi King's guards have all been replaced by the Saudi Crown Prince due to fear that the CIA may be planning a plot to assassinate the Saudi King and cause mayhem in the kingdom. The King is suffering from dementia, he is unable to follow scripts and has not given a public speech for a long time. That's because he tends to forget who he is. There's also other worries in the kingdom. Some are even saying everything will end up like the Shah of Iran. The Saudi prince will have to flee along with other princes. There's also been reports of certain members of the Saudi royal family acquiring Maltese passports. Although the Saudi prince is trying his best to lure investments into Saudi Arabia and build futuristic cities, the development of these schemes seem to be out of touch with reality. He wants smart cities, but there's not enough smart people to build these cities and work on their development. You see, it all boils down to Saudi Arabia's archaic system of education. Although the crown prince has been trying to change all that, the form of teaching in Saudi Arabia is extremely outdated. Children are not taught to think outside the box, they simply memorise what is taught to them. I think, and I do hope this doesn't happen, but the Saudi Crown Prince will sooner or later become the victim of a coup. You see, this theme of a coup has been reoccurring since Mohammed bin Salman intervened in the order of succession. You see, although modern monarchies are reforming the way power is transferred from one generation to another, like we saw with late Auntie Betty's demise and Charles becoming king, but things are not that organised in Saudi Arabia and there's a potential of war of succession out there. Of course, Allah forbid there's a coup out there. If something like that happens, then the entire region will be on fire. You just have to look at the type of education they've been promoting after 1979. No different to Daesh. Aristotle once said, everyone knows that death is inevitable, but until it seems close, no one thinks about it.
with a king who suffers from dementia, locked up in Neom, only released on the orders of the crown prince. No doubt there's going to be issues when the king of Saudi Arabia expires. Maybe when he dies, that would be the end of the Saudi monarchy. Who knows? Because with Queen Elizabeth's passing has led to outpouring of grief in the West while also reviving the British monarchy's colonial legacy with people across the world seeing her as a symbol of an institution that thrived through violence, oppression and theft. The Indians, Pakistanis, Iranians and Afghans aren't too happy about the theft of the Kohinoor, an expensive piece of diamond from the East which decorates the Queen's crown. The anti-monarchy chorus is growing louder in the United Kingdom with a spate of arrests by security agencies in recent days drawing condemnation from the country's civil liberty campaigners. Maybe it's time we hear such calls in the makeshift kingdoms of Arabia. Thank you for listening to the Independent Islamic Republic of Foreign Policy Hawk. Have a splendid night. Assalamu alaikum, shalom, alechem, adios, au revoir, sayonara.